What's up everyone, it's your boy Norman Rad 89 here bringing you another video today and I know I promised you some different other kinds of videos on the channel and this is another one I wanted to talk about because you know what, wrestling is a big part of my life. I'm a huge wrestling fan and today we're going to talk about and discuss in my opinions the state of wrestling as it is today in 2024 and what I think the wrestling, the future has for us in terms of wrestling fans what it has in store for us so let's get down to this video roll it so in terms of my life i've grown up a huge wrestling fan my entire life i've been playing wrestling games since you know way back in the day since the Sega Genesis era, going into the PlayStation, going into Xbox era, you know, SmackDown versus Raw, all that kind of stuff. Like I've experienced all of that and I kind of grew up in the mainstay of that really what I call, like I know there's a golden era of television or of wrestling that they talk about with like, you know, Hulk Hogan and that era and Dusty Rhodes and Ric Flair and all that. But <clears throat> to me, being that I grew up in the 90s, the golden era for me was the 90s because we had WCW and we had WWE going on at the same time or what was known as WWF at one time and then became WWE. So we had both of those going on at the same time. So we had, in terms of wrestling fans, we had a lot of content. We had Monday Night Raw, Monday Night Nitro, we had Thunder, we had SmackDown, you know, we had so much content so many great wrestlers to watch on tv and that was what was really fun about it and stuff like that so for me being that wrestling i grew up in the 90s and that it was the attitude era it was that rough and tumble like kind of experimental era it was like a lot of experimental stuff and they went very risque very raw very real with a lot of the stuff that we saw on wrestling events and wrestling television at that time and me being like i was under 10 for most of that time like experiencing all that stuff but i got introduced to wrestling through my grandfather and he's a huge wrestling fan since the gorgeous george era since dusty Rhodes era rick flair you know harley race my grandfather was into all of those cats so it's like he was into the old school wrestlers and really turned me on to wrestling and that's why I love it now and especially the fact that I've connected to with my son I've connected to through it with him you know what I mean showing him you know taking him to wrestling events like I said we got Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins signature on this belt right here so taking him to wrestling events getting him involved in it and everything and what I wanted to talk about with this was the state of wrestling. Basically, this video we're going to talk about right now, I kind of wanted to give a history. That was kind of my history, backstory of me as a wrestling fan. But what I think of the state of wrestling as it is right now in 2024 is I think it's the healthiest it's been since that era in the 90s in terms of we have so much good wrestling content. We have two really good wrestling, or I mean, you could argue three good wrestling you know programs going on right now almost four if you count nxt so we got wwe we got AEW, ring of honor and nxt which are all fantastic shows and fantastic wrestling events and programs that we have going on right now so in terms of my idea the way i look at it right now is we are kind of living in the next golden era of wrestling because we have so much great content there's so much out there and i also want to shout out in this video all elite wrestling you know aew that more people need to go out and watch that because I'm, I'm a huge fan of wwe like you know i love wwe this is my bread and butter what i grew up on and everything but in terms of aew they're really coming up in the game and i think doing some fantastic work got some great wrestlers female and male wrestlers and like I said, this is the second golden era of wrestling television. And there's always going to be in terms of you being a wrestling fan, one that you prefer more. For me, right now as it stands, currently I prefer AEW a little bit more to WWE. But that's mainly because of the character work, the wrestling, the talent over there. I think is actually better right now in AEW. What WWE has that takes a cake over AEW always is going to be production value and spectacle and also, you know, long history, you know, like fans trust WWE because they have decades and decades and decades of history that they have in their pocket, you know what I mean, that they can talk about. So AEW is really have a 
they have a strong, you know, huge ladder to climb to get to that point. So that's one thing that I think WWE is always going to have over AEW is that spectacle, that long history of the brand and what it's come to and what it's gone through over the decades and stuff like that. But AEW has got some fresh, new, awesome talent. And like I said, I'm totally shouting them out right now because I want a lot of more other people to go watch them. And like I said, I'm telling you right now, in 2024, as it stands, me being a huge wrestling fan, I think we are totally in the second golden era of wrestling television. You know, we got so much great content. And like I said, if you're into other side programs and other side promotions, we got Ring of Honor, we got New Japan Wrestling, we got, you know, even TNA is still going on. So there's still stuff happening and everything. So that's very exciting that I think wrestling is like I said, the most vibrant, the most strong it's been since the late 90s going into the early 2000s. So thanks for sticking around with me for this video as we just chatted. Like I said, I just wanted to sit down and wanted to get some more content out there, get fresh. I know I've been very busy with life recently and getting a lot of stuff going on. You know, I got three kids and there's just a lot of life stuff going on right now. So I've been busy with that, but I'm going to be down to getting more videos done. And I got some other videos planned with, we got Voices from Mausoleum. I got a video coming out with Ken Sledge from Sledgehammer Horror. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel so you hear news on all those videos. And like I said, like, subscribe, stay notified, all that jazz, because that definitely helps out the channel. But most importantly, you all know what's up. Have a safe and happy day. Peace out.